learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to understand the concept of new profit sharing ratio learn to calculate the gaining ratio understand the concept of gaining ratio explain about hidden goodwill know the accounting treatment of hidden goodwill and its calculation understand how to do revaluation of assets and liabilities know the adjustment of accumulated profits and losses understand how to prepare loan account of a retiring partner prepare balance sheet of a reconstituted firm retirement or death of a partner we all know that retirement or death of a partner also leads to reconstitution of a partnership firm when a partner retires or at the time of death of a partner the old partnership deed comes to an end and new partnership deed come into existence the accounting treatment is more or less same in case of death of a partner or in case of retirement of a partner in both the cases we need to calculate the sum due to the retiring partner and to the legal representatives in case of deceased partner after adjusting the goodwill revaluation of assets and liabilities and transfer of accumulated profits and losses calculating amount due to retiring or deceased partner the sum that is due with the retiring partner or with the legal representative of the deceased partner includes credit amount of his capital account credit balance of his current account his share of reserves his share of goodwill his share in profit of revaluation of assets and liabilities his share of updated profit interest on capital till the date of death or retirement salary or commission due the following deductions are also required to be done from his account debit balance of his current account his share of goodwill which is to be written off his share of losses loss due to revaluation of assets and liabilities his drawings up to date of retirement or death new profit sharing ratio the various accounting aspects are involved in the time of death and retirement of a partner new profit sharing ratio new profit sharing ratio is the ratio in which all the remaining partners will share the profit and losses with each other after the death or retirement of a partner the new share includes their own share and the share they got from the deceased or retired partner let us take the two situations a generally the partners acquired the share of the retired partner in old profit sharing ratio only and that's why the new profit sharing ratio is not necessary to calculate b the continuing partners may acquire the share in the profit of the retiring or deceased partner not in their old ratio but rather in a proportion other than that so in such cases there is need to compute the new profit sharing ratio among them and it will be equal to sum total of their respective old share and the share acquired from the retiring or deceased partner the contributing partners may agree on a specified new profit sharing ratio in that case the ratio so specified will be the new profit sharing ratio gaining ratio what is gaining ratio the gaining ratio is the ratio in which the continuing partners acquire the share from the retired or deceased partner in their old profit sharing ratio in this the gaining ratio would be the same old profit sharing ratio and 
no need to calculate the gaining ratio. If the share in which they acquire the share of the retiring or deceased partner is specified, then there is no need to calculate the gaining ratio as it will be the ratio in which they have acquired the share of profit from the retiring deceased partner. We need to calculate the gaining ratio when the new profit sharing ratio of the continuing partners is specified and in such situation the gaining ratio should be calculated by deducting the old share of each continuing partners from his new share. Treatment of Goodwill The retired partner or deceased partner is entitled to have his share of goodwill at the time of retirement or death. So, at the time or retirement or death of a partner, valuation of goodwill is to be done as per the agreement between the partners among the partners the retiring or deceased partner compensated for his share of goodwill by the continuing partners in their gaining ratio. The accounting treatment for goodwill in such a situation depends upon whether or not goodwill already appears in the books of the firm. Treatment of goodwill When goodwill does not appear in the books of accounts, there are four ways in which retiring partner can be given the necessary credit for his loss of his share of goodwill. A. When goodwill is raised at its full value. In this case, the capital account of all the partners, including deceased or retired partner, is credited as per old profit sharing ratio and goodwill account is debited with its full value. The full value of goodwill will appear in the balance sheet of the reconstituted firm. B. Goodwill is raised at its full value and written off immediately. If goodwill is not being shown in the balance sheet of the reconstituted firm, then after raising the goodwill at its value, it is immediately written off by debiting the remaining partners in their new profit sharing ratio and crediting the goodwill account with its full value. C. Goodwill is raised to the extent of retired or deceased partner's share and written off immediately. In this case, goodwill account is raised only to the extent of retired or deceased partner's share by debiting goodwill account with the proportionate amount and crediting only to the retired or deceased partner's capital account. Then, the continuing partner's capital accounts are debited in their gaining ratio and goodwill account credited to write it off. D. No goodwill account is raised at all in the firm's books of accounts. If it is decided that the goodwill will not appear in the books of firms, then in that case the following journal entry is done. When goodwill to appear in the books of accounts. When goodwill already appearing in the books of accounts. In case the value of goodwill already appears in the books of accounts and is equal to the current value of the goodwill, then there is no need to make any kind of adjustments as it is assumed that the goodwill is credited to the capital accounts of all the partners. But if the current value of the goodwill is different than the one appearing in the books of accounts, then an adjustment is being done for the difference value. In this, two kinds of situations we can face. 1. If the book value of goodwill is lower than the present value. In this situation, the goodwill is raised to its current value by debiting the goodwill account with the excess of the difference between the current value and book value and crediting the partner's capital account as per their old profit sharing ratio. 2. 
if the book value of the goodwill is greater than the present value. In this case, the excess of book value over the current value will be credited to goodwill account and debited the capital account of all partners as per the old profit sharing ratio. Hidden goodwill In above situations, goodwill will be entered in the balance sheet at its full value. If the partners decide that it should be written off fully or partially, it can be done by debiting the remaining partners' capital accounts in the new profit sharing ratio and crediting goodwill account with the respective value. What is hidden goodwill? At times, the firm make settlement by paying the retired partner or deceased partner a lump sum amount. In that case, the amount paid to him and the amount which is due to him after making necessary adjustment in the accumulated profit and loss and revaluation of assets and liabilities account will be treated as his share of goodwill. This is also known as hidden goodwill. Adjustment for revaluation of assets and liabilities. At times at the retirement or death of a partner, there may be some assets which are not shown in their current value. Also, there can be some liabilities that are shown on the value lesser than the obligation. Or at times, there may be some assets which are not recorded in the books of accounts. So, make all these adjustments we need to prepare a revaluation account to find out the net loss or gain on revaluation of assets and liabilities. The following journal entries are to be done for these adjustments. For increase in the value of assets. For decrease in the value of assets. Adjustment of revaluation of assets and liabilities For increase in the amount of liabilities For decrease in the amount of liabilities For an unrecorded assets For an unrecorded liability For distribution of profit or loss on revaluation Adjustment of accumulated profits and losses. At times, the balance sheet of the firm show accumulated profits as reserves and accumulated losses as debit balance of profit and loss account. The person who is retiring is entitled to have the share in accumulated profits and is also required to share the accumulated losses, if any. The journal entries for the same purpose shall be Disposal amount due to retiring partner The partner who is retiring his account is settled by giving lump sum amount or installments as decided mutually by the partners. Section 37 of the Indian Partnership Act 1932 states that the partner who is going can receive either interest at 6% per annum till the date of payment or such share of profits which has been earned with his or her money. So, the total due amount of the partner who is going is calculated by making all the adjustments. If the firm is not in a position to pay the amount, then the amount due is transferred to the loan account of the retiring partner and it is debited to his account when it is paid. Adjustment for Partner's Capital Account 1. When a partner retires or in case of death of a partner, the rest of the partners may adjust their capital contributions in the profit-sharing ratio decided by them. In such condition, the amount which is in the capital accounts of the partners 
may be treated as the capital of the firm if specified. Then, to calculate the new capital of the partners, the total capital is divided amongst the new partners as per their new profit sharing ratio. If there is any excess of capital or loss, then that will be worked out. The journal entries for the same would be Let us understand this by the following situations. A. When the capital of the new firm as decided by the partners is specified. Mohit, Neeraj and Sohan are partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 1. Neeraj retires and Mohit and Sohan decided that the capital of the new firm will be fixed at rupees 1,20,000. The capital accounts of Mohit and Sohan show a credit balance of rupees 82,000 and rupees 41,000 respectively. After making all the adjustments, calculate the actual cash to be paid off or to be brought in by the continuing partners and pass the necessary journal entries. Adjustment for Partners Capital Account 2 When the total capital of the new firm is not specified, Asha, Deepa and Lata are partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. Deepa retires. After making all adjustments relating to revaluation, goodwill and accumulated profit etc., the capital accounts of Asha and Lata showed a credit balance of Rs. 1,60,000 and Rs. 80,000 respectively. It was decided to adjust the capitals of Asha and Lata in their new profit sharing ratio. You are required to calculate the new capitals of the partners and record necessary journal entries for bringing in or withdrawal of the necessary amounts involved. When the amount payable to the retiring partner will be contributed by continuing partners in such a way that their capitals are adjusted proportionate to their new profit sharing ratio. Lalit, Pankaj and Rahul are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 3. After all adjustments on Lalit's retirement with respect to general reserve, goodwill and revaluation etc., the balances in their capital accounts stood at Rs 70,000, Rs 60,000 and Rs 50,000 respectively. It was decided that the amount payable to Lalit will be brought by Pankaj and Rahul in such a way as to make their capitals proportionate to their profit sharing ratio. Calculate the amount to be brought by Pankaj and Rahul and record necessary journal entries for the same. Also record necessary entry for payment to Lalit. After Lalit's retirement, the new profit sharing ratio between Pankaj and Rahul is 3 is to 3, that is 1 is to 1. Death of a partner 1. As we know that the accounting transactions will remain the same in the case of death of a partner as were in the retirement of a partner. In this case, the claim of the partner is given to his executors and will be settled as is being done in retiring of a partner. There is only one difference is that the retirement has fixed time. It will be done at a specified time period only whereas death can occur any time. There is no fixed time for this. So, in the case of death of a partner, his claim should include his share in profit and loss of the firm. 
interest on capital and drawings from the date of last balance sheet of the date of his death. Let us understand this with an example. Bakul, Champak and Darshan were partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 4 is to 1. The profit of the firm for the year ending on March 31, 2006 was 1 lakh rupees. Champak dies on June 30, 2006. Champak's share of profit for the period from April 1 to June 30, 2006 shall be calculated as follows. Death of a partner 2. If Champak's share of profit was to be calculated on the basis of average profits of the last three years, which were rupees 1 lakh 36,000 for 2003-2004, rupees 1 lakh 54,000 for 2004-2005, and rupees 1 lakh for 2005-2006. Champak's share of profits for the period from April 7, 2006 to June 30, 2006 shall be calculated on the basis of average profit based on profits for the last year calculation as follows. If the agreement provides that share of profit of the deceased partner will be worked out on the basis of sales and it is specified that the sales during the year 2005-2006 were rupees 8 lakhs and the sales from April 1, 2006 to June 30, 2006 were rupees 1 lakh 50,000. Champak's share of profit for the period from April 1, 2006 to June 30, 2006 shall be calculated as follows. The journal entry of the same would be let us take an example to understand this. Anil, Bhanu and Chandu were partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. On March 31, 2007, their balance sheet was as under. Anil died on October 1. 2007. It was agreed between his executors and the remaining partners that a. Goodwill to be valued at 2.5 years purchase of the average profits of the previous four years, which were year 2003-2004, rupees 13,000, year 2004-2005, rupees 12,000, year 2005-2006, Rupees 20,000. Year 2006 2007, rupees 15,000. B. Patents be valued at rupees 8,000. Machinery at rupees 28,000. And building at rupees 25,000. C. Profit for the year 2007 2008 to be taken as having accrued at the same rate as that of the previous year. D. Interest on capital be provided at 10% per annum. E. Half of the amount due to Anil be paid immediately. Prepare Anil's capital account and Anil's executor's account as on October 1, 2007. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. New profit sharing ratio is the ratio in which all the remaining partners will share the profit and losses with each other after the death or retirement of a partner. The gaining ratio is the ratio in which the continuing partners acquire the share from the retired or deceased partner in their old profit sharing ratio. There are two ways to deal with goodwill. 
if it is already appearing in the books of accounts or if the goodwill is not mentioned in the books of accounts. At times, the firm makes settlement by paying the retired partner or deceased partner a lump sum amount. In that case, the amount paid to him and the amount which is due to him after making necessary adjustment in the accumulated profit and loss and revaluation of assets and liabilities account will be treated as his share of goodwill. This is also known as hidden goodwill. Revaluation account helps to find out the net loss or gain on revaluation of assets and liabilities. When a partner retires or in case of death of a partner, the rest of the partners may adjust their capital contributions in the profit-sharing ratio decided by them.